Hi, my name is Chrislyn and I am one of the Salesforce administrators over at Cloud Adoption Solutions. And today I'm going to show you how to send temporary passwords via 1Password. Compromised credentials is actually one of the top methods bad actors use for data breaches. And in a study run by Forbes and OnePoll this year, 46% of participants in a 2,000 person study report having their password stolen over the last year, which is a pretty high percentage. While social media accounts were the most frequent targets for password hacking, reported by almost a third of the participants, the second highest was email accounts. So, as you can see here, I have the 1Password Chrome extension installed on my browser, and I'm going to go ahead and, cl and click New Item and then choose whatever it is that I want to create a new item of. I will choose uh, either login or API credentials, probably the second one I use the most, uh, or password. So once I click that, it's going to take me to a page that looks like this. And I'm going to put in the title of my credentials and Sharing a password, uh, either professionally or personally, by text or email, I think is something we have all done at one point or another. But with the statistics I mentioned before, sharing this way is not a good way to care about your security and your org, and we can do better this way. Especially because one password, as I'm typing in whatever password I'd like, if I press this little key symbol, it can auto-generate a password for me which is awesome and it can fit any criteria um, or requirements that a website has like if it's a digits only you can only use um, letters or if it allows symbols or requires symbols you can just toggle these on and off and this is pretty great because it allows us to avoid repeated password usage across platforms which is one of the top three reasons passwords are compromised nowadays it also safeguards the client from others guessing the password, as most people who have experienced account hacking, almost half, use a combination of words and numbers that hold personal significance. So by doing things this way, we're making sure that that is not a factor. Uh, here, generally, uh, the website is automatically added, but I typically add the username as well. And I add additional information if there's any security questions or answers. And a lot of times if I am providing information for, say, uh, a Salesforce integration API user, I will also include the user ID. So if that person is an admin, they can actually take a look at that directly and add, you know, permission sets or anything else they need to do there. So once I have filled in all of these uh, fields the way that I want, I'll save it. And then I'll click on this button here to share it. So if I click on share, I will get this little pop up. I can choose how long the link that I'm about to generate will last, whether it's an hour, a day, a week, two weeks, a month. And I can choose who this will be available to, whether I want access be for anyone with the link or my, pref my preference, really, I tend to just choose specific people. So let's say I just want to share it, put in my email. And I can choose whether um, whoever has link can view it one time or as many times as they'd like. And once I put that in, you can add multiple people. I get the link to share. And I can copy this and send this out. So when they click on that link, they will need to verify their email before they can actually access the information. But once they do, they will come to this screen with all of the information that I put on. This is a different one, but you get the picture. They'll have access to all of the information. And that's it. It's just a better, more secure way to share your passwords and make sure that nothing is compromised via email. Thanks for watching today. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel for Salesforce related tips and tricks. Again, we are Cloud Adoption Solutions. Please feel free to reach out to us for any of your Salesforce needs.